Morning guys, welcome to the Mythic Booster channel and welcome to a sweet Geek at Heart episode. This episode is going to be super cool. First we need to dry some hair, so we're going to do a bit of that. There's the hair done. Get that out of the way. And then the next job is we need to get changed. So I'm going to try doing a bit of this. Okay, that was quite cool. I even managed the shoes in that time, which was quite impressive. Um, what we're going to do now, if I just grab this, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and go out there. We're going to get the last bits of our kit and then we're going to go to Taunton to get the special thing. You might have guessed from the thumbnail, but we're going to get the special thing. Ready and... Oh, right, we're here at Mythic Booster HQ. We're going to get the last couple of bits. Before you do anything else, you guys need to make sure you like this episode. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be cool. And if you like it, just really, really help. So please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe and stick around because we're about to do some sort of transporty thing into a title sequence, which I always think is quite cool. So uh, go title sequence. Go. Right, OK, it's confessions time. I've ballsed up big time which has made me super super sad because I want to be the first person to get the thing from the three stop which I'm still not gonna say because I think we're gonna have better hype that way but what's happened is it's not been delivered yet and it's not gonna be delivered till lunchtime which means I've got to go to work then drive back into town which is a half an hour journey so I've driven half an hour in I've got driven half an hour that's an hour's worth of journey I'm then gonna go to work I'm then gonna drive half an hour back in half an hour back out and I'm probably still not gonna get a chance to open it and film it until this evening <sighs> and look to, to prove this isn't hype look this is the photo this is the, the, the yeah, look on my car it is 9.29 I was at the three store at nine and yeah it's not there so we're gonna disappear for a bit and then we're gonna come back later so we're now gonna jump ahead probably to outside the three store so we're gonna jump ahead in about like you know some oomph amount of time but feel sorry for me really feel sorry for me comment how sorry you feel for me right i am so excited about this phone so excited Right? Comment below. I want sympathy. Lots of sympathy in the comments. But until now, we'll jump forward in time and transfer out the uh, three store. Okay? Go. Oh, right. We're here. We are back here now. Right. Time to get this sodding phone. Back in a minute. Oh. How are you? Right, so we've eventually got to the three store. The guy has very kindly let me film in here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to pick up the phone see that and then uh, well yeah eventually get it take it home unbox it review it and all that sort of fun sort of stuff so we'll uh, catch you in a minute before i, I give over monies Right, so let's get some light on in here so you can't see me anymore because it's not really making a difference. We've now picked up our phone, which is, if you hadn't guessed already, we're now going to tell you it is a Razer phone made by Epic Gaming Laptop Gaming type people, Razer. And we are going to now nip back home, then we're going to unbox it and I'm going to tell you all about it because it is sick. Right, catch you back at Mythic Booster HQ. Hey, right, so we're back here at Mythic Booster HQ and we've, we've got it. We've got it here. Now, it's like the box within the box. Anyway, I'm gonna to cut to the chase. So, and then, here we go. Oh, oh. oh my God. Look at, look, 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 look at it. Oh my God. This is possibly the sexiest bit of tech. Wow, in a, this is, this is really nice. Oh well, it's even got like even got the Razer branding on the side, and then the Razer logo on the top. Contents: Razer phone, 64 gig, lithium-ion battery built in, USB-C charging cable. Nice. Um, let's put a pen here to hopefully get into the box. Let's try something sharper. Let's try this. Come on, I'm gonna dent my nice box. That might make me sad. Right, here we go. We're in. Come on. Oh. 
It's not not quite as good as peeling the uh, peeling the wrapper off the phone for the first time. Get rid of that. Doing that sticky thing. It's so nice. But anyway, where will we at? So, USB-C charging cable, USB-C audio adapter, quick charger, SIM eject pin, and important information. Here we go. You ready? You guys ready for this? Oh, well, it's got like a really nice... Oh, it's magnetic. Can you hear that? Oh, really? Here we go. Watch, listen, play, it says. Let's stick this over here as well. Watch, let's get rid of that thing as well. Right, watch, listen, play. It says, whether you're watching movies in bed, listening to music on your run, or kicking virtual ass on your commute, you need a device that delivers breathtaking visuals, cinematic audio, and the power to last all day. Introducing the Razer phone, the device you hold in your hand, well, not yet, anyway. The device you will be holding in your hand is the, uh, is the culmination of our blood, sweat, and toil that began years ago when we brought some of the most talented designers and engineers in the mobile industry under one roof, all with the single mission to deliver the ultimate in mobile entertainment. And now the Razer phone is finally yours, or ours in this case, to enjoy. The Razer community is built to connect those who seek the winning edge or simply enjoy the most immersive experiences. Be the first to get news on Razer offerings, scores, blah, blah, blah. Join Razer, like on Facebooks, tweet on a thingy, subscribe on you balls. Welcome to the culture of Razer. And that's quite a sexy little... So, right. Here it is. Here it is. How do we get... Ah, oh, oh no, there's a little... <sighs> it feels so nice. Look at it, here we go. But before we get to this, we'll put that there, we'll put that there, we will get to this. Before we get to this, we've got to... This package, oh wow! This, this literally just fall... This is like the... Can you guys see, I'm gonna have to sort of put you back here and remember. Look, this is... This is so nice. This is like the nicestly packaged thing I've got to play with in a long while. Let's hopefully you guys have gone back in the same sort of spot there. Cool. So we've got oh look at this all this little individual compartmentalized compartmentalized. I can't speak. What have we got in here? <gasps> oh stickers. Oh we've got a razor pin. Oh right. So we've got razor phone for gamers by gamers. So we've got what's this? This is just sort of. How to use the power brick and all the warranty stuff. That's quite interesting. And then, oh wow, look at this. This is possibly the sexiest, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see this, let me get it right. That is possibly the sexiest SIM eject tool ever. Razor branded SIM eject tool. I've got a feeling we're gonna need that in a minute. So we'll put that there. And then, oh, see, everyone loves a sticker. Gotta love. So got Razor stickers, sick, thank you guys. They might have to uh, brand up the, the PC, um, and then I can dream of uh, getting a, a Razer laptop at some point. Then what else have we got? Oh wow, we've got all sorts going on. What's in this one? I love it, I love it. Have you seen all the little gadgets? You've got little, little, little notes. This one's got clearly gonna be the little dongle for the Jack. Now, I've seen one of these. Look how nice it's packaged. Oh, and again, look, Razer branding. Ray, Razer branding on the, th oh my God. Oh my god! This is like the nicest thing. Now I've seen this in store, right? This, because it's USB-C, just clicks in place so well. To me, I don't care that that's creating my place for me to plug my phone in. That's that, I'm totally down with that. That's absolutely fine. And also, braided cables. Braided cables out the box. Oh my golly gosh. Oh my golly gosh. Right, that's just... Gorgeous. Um, so that can go over. It's just so much nice stuff. I don't even know where, where's the other box gone. I've lost my box. No, it's not. It's there. Cool. So we've got that. Then what we got in here? Oh, right. Here we go. Ta -da! What else have we got going on? It's just the packaging is amazing. This looks like it's a power brick of some description. If it wants to come out. Wow. And see, everything's just so sexy. Look at this, right? Oh, we got the first thing we can take some plastic off. Oh, oh, I had a little moment then. Look at that. 
Look at how how pretty is that? Oh my god! And it just clicks up. Just there you go. Everything is so well thought out. My gosh! Oh, I'm so excited. This is amazing. Then what have we got in here? I'm assuming. And then that's basically it for the box. This is just so nice. This one, I'm assuming, will be the USB-C charging cable. And this is USB-C 4.0 as well, by the way, boys and girls. 4.0. So it's the only one on the market that has, and again, braided cables. I don't need that bit. But look at this. Braided cables straight out the box. Just straight out of the box. And I bet this has even got branding on it. Oh, it hasn't. I thought, it, I thought they'd even put, like, branding on the end. It was like, oh, okay, yeah, fair play. Um, and it's USB-C to USB-C as well. And we've even got like a little, oh, look at it. Like, look, it's just highly polished, the end of the, there's so much attention to detail that has gone into the end of this, that it's just literally gone into every single inch of this device. It's, it's ridiculous. It's totally, totally ridiculous. Right, let's put some of this gear back in here. So I just, I'm, I'm gonna have to find something to do with this box. It's just too, too nice just to sort of like, you know, neglect in any sort of way. So there's the power supply, box. Very, in fact, we'll use this. We're gonna literally use this as our, oh, I'm gonna chuck my uh, key there. So we'll stick that there. In fact, actually, what we'll do, we'll stick this back in here. And we can use this as our little, our little table. Wow, right, here we go. Oh, there's nothing better. There is nothing, there is literally nothing better than the first time you take plastic off of a new device. Now, I think that is a stunning, a stunning piece of technology. It's like, it's aluminium or aluminum, excuse my American accent, but it feels, it, it feels like sturdy. It feels like it's made so exceptionally well. And it's got, it's this, this matte sort of finish. So, which means, unlike all the other stuff, it's pretty finger res fingerprint resistant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut there and I'm gonna cut back once I've put my SIM card in and then we'll have a look around the phone. We'll go from there. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, flip this back in just a moment. Right. Sims in. I've actually also bought a 128 gig micro SD card as well because obviously I'm shooting a lot of video um, and the way the phone works. So for me, what I want to do is I want to use the micro SD card literally to store everything on my phone. And then that way, I like with a computer, like you'd put an SSD in, I'm going to utilize the sort of the capacity that's coming straight out of the phone um, without filling it up. So that's my, my cunning master plan. But however, the first turn on and we have got fingerprint scanner built in but however the first turn on here we go oh it's got a nice buzz when you turn it on here we go razor powered by android wow Very cool, very cool. I'd just like to point out as well, I've probably already said this, but this is not sponsored by Three or Razor. Um, okay, right, let's uh, start off and I'm gonna get started and we might have to like cut back to this, but let's get started and I'll see what we can get on. Cool, back in just a moment. Right, so here we are in the phone. It's now totally set up, which is sweet. And I've sort of used it for sort of a day now and I just wanna show you around. So um, I've set myself up a background. Um, by the way, if you guys want this background, easiest way to do it is follow me on Twitter and then basically just tweet at me and then I can send you a link of where you can get your own Geek at Heart Mythic Booster wallpaper for your Razer phone if you go and get one, which I recommend you do because trust me it's amazing right here we go so to show you around obviously when you go into your settings i'm still learning this i've been an iphone user since like the iphone one came out so this is like a whole new experience for me so 
on the display settings here, we can do like adaptive, right? But refresh rate. This is one of the massive things in this phone, right? So an iPhone X, all the other phones, 60 megahertz, 60 hertz refresh rate. This, 120. 120 hertz is like gaming monitor refresh speeds. It is ridiculous. So when you've actually got this now all set up, the the way it responds is insane. Like if you see, it's 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 instantaneous. There is zero lag, and still you start looking through menus like you've got here. It's there is there's nothing. It's like you just you, you guys are not going to be able to see this properly because obviously the the way we're recording this or what. But it, it is in, it's it's really off putting because you're not used to seeing it. Like in a handheld device, I and mean, we've got it on some tablets, but not in a phone. Not in a phone. And I tell you what, it's really nice. It's really recognisable, and and I love it. I I I I love it. I really really love it. So the next thing um, that I thought was great on this phone is when you go into the battery settings, you've got here. So it tells you how much you've got left. Um, you've got the USB C quick charging. I've got back. I had no battery left. Um, it, it's it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant and here this game booster is fantastic the way you can customize apps up so it's saying it's used 19.81 percent of my battery but i can go in here and i can specifically customize how i want this to run i mean i've the optimal settings are slightly different so it's 60 fps um you know what resolution it runs at the cpu that's pumped into it and obviously you can crank it up and crank it down depending on what what you want to run it as so this is really really cool so I'm, I'm loving this the fact that you know depending on what game i'm playing i can really really tweak the phone up to use sort of the most you know sort of the, you know the best settings that we possibly want i'm loving the customization options i'm loving the fact that you know the fingerprint scanners on the side it's really really quick just to show you how quick that one is done it, it's instantaneous i like the fact that you can put safe locations um you know you guys are going oh yeah but you can do it on every android phone i don't know this i'm telling you what i like about this version of android and the way it works so obviously i can set my home as a safe location and even without my fingerprint i can double tap to wake up the phone and slide up it knows i'm at home so it unlocks itself it's really really cool i love it as a feature i can change my lights i've got a little philips hue wireless app so i can literally from my front room i can turn all my lights off which is quite cool um set my app up i've got a little sort of you know um spotify widgets and sort of things for starbucks and all that sort of stuff all my social media which is obviously really important for the channel so it's got its own little tab for that and then all my other bits for the way i can interact with the game just out of interest i've been looking through games and i'm really really thinking about playing titanfall um you know bang a comment down below guys if you would you know down below if you guys would like to see me play titanfall uh, apparently look great on the 120 megahertz refresh rate um bang a comment down below um and yes i will get on some games or there are some really cool games that work really well with high refresh rates and blah 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 let me know let me know and i shall play some of them and if they get some really good following we'll keep playing them that's really cool because i'm always up for trying new things on the channel right next thing we are going to look at that i've just found was insane is the speakers so you can tweak it, you can have a movie mode, a music mode, custom, really, really tweak it. But however, look at this, right? Dolby Atmos speakers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play the demo. This is, and I swear to you guys, I'm not going to crank this up. I'm literally going to turn it up full. This is not going to be enhanced in Prem Pro. I just want you to listen to this. It's ridiculous. watched that a few times now so, and it still freaks me out 
how loud it is without being distorted freaks me out how just how good a quality the sound is it, it's it's it is insane it really does totally blow your mind and for you know if you're not going to play with headphones in what a way to have an amazing immersive experience and it really it really is 3d sound it is literally like having a top quality set of speakers in your front room you can hear the sounds behind you you've got you know position you've got these two speakers either side of you which i think look fantastic i've got no issue with having the big top and bottom bezels they're individually amped like it's it is ridiculous um, and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, the battery, I've been out playing uh, Pokemon Go with it today. It's lasting four, five, six times. Like I've had it out. I've been harrowing the game because of the new event, and I haven't run out of battery. The battery's got low, but, however, it's a 4,000 milliamp battery, and it works. And, obviously, if I was to prepare to tweak Pokemon Go back a little bit, it would be amazing. Um so yeah the ram you know you can see the ram usage um, i've got to try and find this so uh, there we go ram usage so storage oh no that's my storage i don't want storage i want ram usage where are we memory here we go so you've got average usage over the last three hours over the last three hours i've used 2.8 gig of you know i can't remember how much we've got now eight so i've got eight gigs so we've got tons free okay so yeah back here to address some of the things about this phone that people have been saying um number one you know a few gamers have been saying oh yeah how am i going to use my gaming headset oh what, what a dongle for now you're on usb-c it's not lightning it clips into place I, I can't see why people are bugging out about this you've got a really high quality braided cable that comes in the box leave it plugged in to your gaming headset and just plug it in when you want to use it you know it's like Ah, I don't understand why people get so freaked out by dongles. Oh, you know, oh, I've got to carry a different... Just leave it plugged in. You obviously can't leave it plugged into your phone, but leave it plugged into your headset. If your headset's got a cable on it, what's the problem with having, you know, six inches more cable on the end? That doesn't interest me. Um, think about it being big, square and ugly. I, personally, do not think that is an ugly phone. I think that is a beautiful, sexy thing. And I think if you're into sort of gaming this and stuff like that i think it's just a lovely screen to look at um i'm really enjoying it some people have said about the reflections being an issue in the screen i haven't had any such problem at all i've been out today it's been a bright day you can see the screen perfectly fine um, as regards to the cameras um i haven't used an iphone 8 or x or galaxy note and a, or a pixel 2 and apparently the cameras aren't as good as that you know, these are some of the best cameras on the market, but however, it still has a 12 megapixel camera on the, uh, you know, to normal shoot with on the back. It can still shoot 4K video. No, it might not be as good as the others, but from my point of view, when I've looked at photos and looked at videos I've shot, I'm happy with it. In fact, actually, what I'll do is I will shoot a bit of a video now and I will insert it down in the bottom so you guys can see. I've set it up so I can swipe up for my camera. Let's, I've got to work out how to do it now. There you go, video. What are we on selfie mode? We don't want to go on selfie mode. Let's go on uh, normal portrait mode. Here we go. So this is me showing you guys around Mythic Booster HQ. Hi guys, welcome to the Mythic Booster channel and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go. This is a video demo for the Razer phone. I'm loving it. It's wicked. And this is what you're watching down the bottom. We'll pause that. So that's the video demo. Hopefully that will work. Um, and the screen hasn't rotated around, but if not, you'll see it. So that's video recording with the Razer phone. I think it's fantastic. I love it. I'm sure you'll see that as well. The selfie camera is fine. It's eight megapixel. It works really, really well. So far, I cannot find, just flick some of these things out the way so I can see my screen. I can't find personally something that's an issue with this phone. I really can't. I mean, the only issue I'm having personally is from a long time iOS user going to Android is definitely a bit confusing because there is so much more I can sort of tweak and mess with this phone and just sort of realizing ways it doesn't work the same as an iPhone and so on and so forth. But however, the fact that the battery is twice as big, it's twice as much RAM, I can customize it for my games, I can still get the internet, I've got a really nice, great big screen that I can work with. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, 
you know, if any of you guys are watching this have got a razor that want to comment on some of these things, you know, bang your comments down below again. I'd love to hear what you think. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, love to hear about that. Um, but I think it's amazing. I mean, I've had my proper first day out with it using it as a phone. I'm actually still waiting for my number to sort of come across properly to the phone. But I think it's fantastic. I mean, if you compare it to my 6S in size, I mean, this is a 6S. This is the Razer phone. I mean, the, the, this phone, like the whole phone, you know, fits within the screen. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's 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 a totally different beastie when it comes to phone. It's it's beautiful to look at, and I'm loving it. So one thing I am going to do is stick around for next week because I am going to do a sort of a week in the sort of the using of a Razer phone. How I'm getting on with it. You know, any more comments that I've found? Is it glitched or anything? People talk about big screens and this screen burn thing. I'm not even entirely sure what that is, but you know, the screen looks lovely at the moment. It hasn't caught on fire, if that's what screen burn is. Um, and yeah, I'm loving it. It doesn't get overly hot. You know, it's freezing cold to the touch and I've had it turned on all day. It's, it's fine. So yeah, I love it. Um, I'm sure you guys will love it at the moment. I'm recommending you get one if you're into your gaming, especially if you play Pokemon Go or any other game. Get a Razer phone if you like looking at a great big screen. Get a Razer phone. If you like battery that lasts for three or four days, get a Razer phone. Um, and if you don't want to pay extortionate prices for an iPhone X or Galaxy Note 8 or whatever, this is cheaper than all of them. Um, and has got twice the everything, you know, apart from a camera. But I can't see the difference. So anyway, that's it. That's my unboxing, and that's my review of the Razer phone. Um, hopefully you guys are going to come back and see the week in the using of the Razer phone on the channel. So stick around. The best way to do that is to subscribe to the channel, use that little notification, and you'll see when I post videos. Please, please, please take the time, guys, to give this video a like. It really helps the channel. It helps push me up the ratings. It helps with everything that people see on the channel it really really helps so please do take the time to give it a like thank you so much for being here i'm really pleased you came out i hope you've enjoyed the review and we will see you next time on the mythic booster channel for more pokemon go let's play gaming and geek at heart goodness and oh yeah tech reviews and more razor phony goodness see you later guys later goodbye